My name is Ginger and I clearly have an addiction to cozy places. Usually I would just do a hangout video to update people that are connected that moment to what's going on with my life. Topics would come up and then we just have a chat and discuss things that are going on and then it would go unlisted because I reckon the beauty of live hangouts is actually the interaction so I try to <clears throat> I try to never leave them on for too long although I understand how uh, they can be an entertainment in the background like radio for people who miss them so to try and find a way to first inspire myself more to make more regular videos because Let's be honest, I've done like two videos in the last year, that's really bad. It's not bad per se, because I'm not, I don't define myself as a content creator. I am, uh, I used to for genetic apps, but uh, not with me on, on this. With when, when it's me, it's more about the interaction that I can have with you, or the people that I can bring to you so that you can hear what they have to say, like the salon jeans. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's nice when we have a chat. Uh, I know it from the live hangouts, and so I realized that maybe it's good if I actually give you topics, and then we can create a more back and forth thing. So let's dare and say that once a week, I wish I could say day, but I can't. Uh, but you know what? Let's let's start and say Wednesdays, and then he will see. Um, so let's say that every Wednesday I will come up and update you with something or pick a topic. I mean, there are a lot of things that have happened and changed in my life in the last year or so. So basics about me that might be useful to know when it comes to topics and things that I might be relevant about or you might do want to talk about with me. Uh, yeah, my hair is dyed. I am very, very scrupulous and attentive about what I do to my hair, my face, so I'm very product aware and ingredients aware, inchi aware. Um, so there's all of that. I am recently starting to going back to makeup because my face is so naked now without all the curls. Like my curls used to be like this. Yeah, like the all, all the flowy thing going on. But yeah, and now they're like this. I love it, but there's, let's face it, there's a lot more face around so I need to take care of it more I used to have an amazing routine that I haven't followed for a while so uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah there's that as well so uh, I, I am a beauty junkie like every girl is or at some point uh, has been or should be because it's always nice to do themselves um, I live in London I've been living in London for eight years I work in the music industry or try to more these days uh, I am currently a freelance uh, editor for Goddess in the TV, which is a uh, UK-based uh, music webzine. But actually, if you need a good person in promotion, especially digital, social media, stuff like that, regarding music, but all sorts of stuff, based in London, actually drop me an email, you never know. Other than that, yeah, I live in North London with my cat and my boyfriend. Uh, th this was actually one of these gifts which I find very apt. You might also be interested in knowing that in the last year or so I've shedded some 20 kilos or so, which I think are like 45 pounds in, in Imperial, but I suck in Imperial, except for length. In length I understand inches much better than centimeters, but other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm all about the metric system, sorry. In that sense, yeah, I've, look, I've shedded some 20 kilos or so because I am a very proactive, low carbon, and uh, I follow a ketogenic diet because I was prone uh, because of family and because of issues to diabetes type 2. So I started eating low carb in late 2013, and you know what? This was me before, and this is me now. Okay. So that, that should give you an idea if you might be interested in asking me something about that or if you think that it's relevant. I should do recipes or stuff, but I think for recipes you actually need a camera and a proper kitchen and I live in the tiniest hall in uh, North London, which I adore because it's cozy, again, but yeah, it doesn't quite suit the uh, video that well. Let's be grateful for these already. I happen to be part of the UK chapter of Mensa, which you might know or have heard of because they let you think that everybody really intelligent with a very high IQ uh, is part of Mensa. That's not true. You actually have to apply yourself for Mensa. So I reckon most intelligent people that just don't care about knowing or being part of it 
they're just not there and it doesn't mean that only humans but you're actually have that high of an IQ and having that high of an IQ let me tell you it doesn't mean that you're necessarily that clever or intelligent it just measures how quickly you can respond to inputs apart from music which is basically what I've been into and led my life to take the path that it has taken and taken me to London um, which I've been into since at least 1995 when I went to my first gig uh, I am also very much interested in the visual side of stuff I used to have my own beauty production company that was, yeah, okay, related to music because it was acoustic sessions, but still. Um, and I come from film studies, uh, my uh, bachelor degree, uh, which I took in Italy, uh, in Milan, was mainly focused about that, uh, social communication and, and media studies, and the film side was the most interesting to me, so I'm a bit of a geek for the kind of shit the shots and all the uh, semiotics that is behind it. I've actually gone into semiotics lately again because it's one of the hardest and yet most fascinating subjects that I've ever encountered. To this day, I have taken so many exams, I've read so many books, and to this day, I would still have issue to define semiotics on its own, extracted from uh, art, music, um, literature, uh, semiotics apply to the analysis of, of all these kind of communication and art forms. So it's, 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 nev it's always an inconstant thing. It's constantly an inconstant thing, depends on what you apply it to. And it usually lets you see the patterns that is behind communication. I, I personally love it. And because I live in London, of course, I'm very much into theatre, although I can afford it much, much less this day. When I was a student here, I took a master here in, guess what, music business management back in 2009, uh, 2009 2010. Uh, and at the time, being a student meant that theatre cost nothing. So I was literally going almost every day for front row tickets for £10. That was amazing, amazing time. I can't go that often anymore, but I still do. I still do when the occasion arises. I went to see the Book of Mormon recently, I finally went to see the play that goes wrong, which is put on by a company called Mischief Theatre, which I used to know and collaborate with a few years ago, and now they're in the West End, so that's absolutely amazing to me. Contrary to popular belief, I am not that avid of a reader. That's mainly because, regardless of glasses on or off, I am uh, mildly dyslexic. I mix up words. So to read a page it takes me a long time. I've been working on uh, The Great Gatsby for the last couple of months now. And I do see the beauty of that in language, but language has to come to me audio, not visually, because, oh god, it's, it's such a pain otherwise. And it's very sad because I'm very much in love with language, and I'm very much in love with um, writing and expressing my thoughts myself, but it's, it's very hard for me, so I'm not that much of an avid reader, I don't. Uh, I have a very compact, I'm looking there because it's there, I have a very compact uh, library myself for everything that I need, but not consulted that very often. Least but not last, I really need to send a thank you to Hannah Ray because, uh, unawarely, but the fact that she started doing Coffee and Conversations videos, uh, I know her from Tumblr because she's low carb as well. Um, but again, I'm very much a geek about everything that I'm into. Low carb is one thing, and all of my Tumblr is mainly about that. Uh, you know what? Use your stuff, I'll give you all the links down here, but yeah. Um, and she does these amazingly nice and cute videos weekly uh, to just have a chat with uh, her viewers about the general topic. The last one was how you have your coffee. And I miss that kind of constant feedback back and forth, let's keep the conversation open. So I'm sorry that I have clearly neglected you and I really hope that you haven't forgot about me. Or if you're new, hey, I really hope that we can be friends and you can stay around and like what you see in here. So this was a very quick recap of who is this person who you might know by Ginger, but if you're interested in knowing, hey, my name is Alicia, hi. If you feel like having a chat at some point again. I think I'll call these ginger snaps after my favorite tea and after the fact that I'm ginger. I don't snap, but you, you see, this is the kind, yeah, this, I think this is the perfect sum up of the kind of person you're dealing with here. So, up to you.
to you in the end. Uh, again, uh, big thanks to Hannah Ray. I'll leave you the link to her channel as well down here. Uh, I'll leave you all the links that you can find me on social media. And yeah, just let me know what you would like to chat about. And I promise next Wednesday, well, blah, 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 ooh, next Wednesday, ha, uh, next Wednesday, we'll have another chat. And if it will be more relevant, it will be more focused. I'll try to be more focused. If you have something that you'd like me to focus on, please let me know. Bye. Have a lovely week. And by the way, if you feel like subscribing and all that kind of stuff, that's always nice so we can actually keep the conversation open and you remember about me and I remember about you. I'm always in love with the idea of everybody being a special snowflake, so I actually love you. Okay, I'm going on.